gentlemen, Rick Hughes. Let him hear it. Rick Hughes! How we doing? Doing all right? My name is Rick. Hi, audience. It's a very special day for me. It's my 47th birthday. Yesterday was my 13th wedding anniversary. Same week. And my wife and I just found out today that our application for adoption has finally been approved. Thanks. And we're moving in with a couple from Longboat next week. But really, I can't tell you how much I appreciate your applause. Um, well, I guess I can. None of that shit I just said was true. Uh, I bet my wife a blowjob that I would get three rounds of applause. So thank Actually, I will be 47 in June. And I'm finding as I get older, my trips to the doctor seem to be getting a little more, I don't know, interesting. <laughs> so there I am for my last physical. I'm bent over the table with my pants around my ankles. I'm all slathered up with Vaseline. And I hear Dr. Smartass behind me say, uh, if you'd like a second opinion, I could use two fingers. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a true story. But to quote Mother Teresa, I shit you not. <laughs> this is actually my first time doing stand-up. I, I think I prefer improv, because with improv, you just get up and you say whatever comes to mind. With stand-up, there's homework. You have to remember stuff. I've got notes hidden in every pocket on me. I've peed every three minutes for the last six hours. <laughs> and I had asparagus for lunch. Note to self. But the problem is I have ADD. And that stands for attention, deficit. Hey, Lynn. How's it going? <laughs> Thanks for coming. Um, um, attention, deficit. Where are you from? <laughs> New York. Yeah. Well, you might be from Sarasota if your mortgage is $50,000 more than the value of your house. <laughs> you might be from Sarasota if you think it's perfectly okay to spend $1,000 on a dress for an event called the Ungala Gala. <laughs> Never understood that one. And you might be from Sarasota if in the last 30 days you've only seen three black people. And one of them was on the stage tonight. <laughs> I just realized that I said blowjob in front of my 80-year-old mother. <laughs> and my wife is sitting with her. Damn it. I was that, cl that close. <laughs> Jeez. Changing the subject. Have you noticed how the press has been completely obsessed with celebrity? I mean, for the last month, it's been Anna Nicole, Anna Nicole. And then the paparazzi has the nerve to snap a picture of little Anna Nicole Jr. running around with no panties on. Poor thing. Two days later, she shaved her head and checked into rehab. I'm going to hang myself here soon with this thing. I don't think I'd want to be famous. I mean, you get those celebrity nicknames for couples, like Radjolina, Benifer, Gail Oprah. <laughs> oh, slow. I mean, my wife's name is Peg. My name is Rick. Prick. What kind of nickname is that? I can see the headlines. Prick moves to Longboat Key. <laughs> like that's never happened before. <laughs> I should leave them. I'm getting flash the light, so I'm going to tell you the fastest joke in history. We have three dogs. Sweetie likes to pee. One night, 
Sweetie peed on the sofa and Peg said, that's it, I want you to take him to the vet, get some doggy Prozac. I did and it worked. We also have a dog named Petey. He likes to dig, he dug up the whole yard. But when he dug a hole in our mattress, she said, to the vet, get some doggy Prozac. Again, it worked. Our third dog is named Nevin. And Nevin is a humper. He humps the other dogs, he humps the cat. Hell, he'll hump the coffee table if you let him, which is pretty funny. Uh, I don't let him do it when she's home. <laughs> But anyway, I came home from work and she says, I made an appointment for Nevin tomorrow at the vet. And I said, why? She said, well, when I got out of the shower, I dropped my towel. When I bent over to pick it up, Nevin humped me. I said, oh, I will take him in to get some Prozac. And she goes, no, no, he just needs his nails clipped. <laughs> so. So with two jokes tonight, I've guaranteed no sex tonight, just like this guy over here. <laughs> so I will leave you with the one thing I know for sure, is that when George and Laura Bush have sex, Laura is always on top, because George Bush can only fuck up. <laughs> Thank you.